There's nothing quite like the feeling of the wind rushing through your hair as you hurtle through exotic locations in a supercar. The thrills, the speed, the adrenaline. Unfortunately for most of us, the only car-based surge in wind and excitement we get to experience is when last night's curry kicks in and the race to crack the window begins. It's not hard to see why arcade races are still a staple of most game libraries, appealing to our race driver alter egos. And in 1991, System 3 looked to satiate our need for speed with turbocharge on the C64. The setup draws on our favourite action movie tropes as a terrorist group, headed by a bloodthirsty bastard known as the Dominator, is stealing caches of weapons from third world UN bases to facilitate war. To neutralise the terrorist threat, Operation Underdog is set up and two cops are deployed, along with a Lamborghini Countach, to take the network down, preferably by shooting them all dead. While the quite detailed story by Phil Thornton located in the manual isn't book of prize material, it's more than adequate in providing some context to the vehicle slaughter that awaits. Loading this up, a generic title screen gives way to a high quality intro sequence conveyed through the lens of satellite imaging. It's extremely well presented as it zooms into a UN compound under siege as Dominator's light-fingered goons help themselves to a few missiles. This spurs our two heroes and their turbocharger into action, flicking on the headlamps for dramatic effect. Drifting into the first level, you screech off at pace, soon gaining ground on the terrorist convoy. What immediately strikes you is the high quality sprite work of Robin Levy and Chris Butler. The car itself looks sturdy and imposing as it navigates the road and one of the protagonists hanging out of the window to fire adds a welcomed flourish. Enemy vehicles are created with just as much attention to detail, with a bigger range on offer than Frank Butcher's car lot. From fuel tankers to cop cars, there's a good variety to unload a clip into. But the road isn't the only threat, as helicopters hover and planes go on bombing runs as you progress. Details such as the machine gun fire kicking up dust on the asphalt, and the screen becoming riddled with bullets as you take damage show thoughtfulness and polish. The GUI is uncluttered, mimicking a dashboard that not only displays fuel and speed, but missile count, score, and messages relayed about oncoming hazards or pickups. Environments are also well realised as you chase down the terrorists across varying locales. None of this detailed sprite work would matter if it wasn't delivered with a sense of speed. Turbocharge delivers this no problem, leaving the C64 port of Chase HQ stuck in neutral. Chris Butler's programming of the road routine is sublime, with the road being mapped from the horizon and colourful roadside furniture flying past with ease. If turbocharge looks slightly familiar, that's probably because an advanced version of Power Drift system is utilised. The graphical package is a great example of how to do a C64 arcade race and shoot right. It's fluid and dynamic with the art during level interludes exemplifying this further. Turbocharger's cartridge routes are clearly on display, and while that results in the title being multi-load, the wait is more than worth it. System 3 releases contain some of the best game soundtracks to grace the Commodore 64. Whether it's Ben Daglish's magical Last Ninja compositions, or Matt Gray's masterful Tusker tunes, the company could nearly always be relied on to bring the Sid goodness. Sean Connolly and Marc Francois's efforts in Turbocharger are no exception. Using five channels to deliver some stomping high-octane tracks and noteworthy sound effects work means the audio reaches parity with its visual counterpart. Each stage delivers an appropriately themed soundtrack that takes influence from its location in the world. Gunfire and explosions have a good sense of impact, with only car-on-car -car collisions sounding slightly weak. All in all, it's a pleasure to listen to and only enhances the energy of Turbocharger's gameplay. While Turbocharge goes the extra mile with its graphics and sonics, it keeps the gameplay simple, concentrating on a basic point A to point B approach across its 10 levels while shooting everything in sight. Because of this, these two gameplay elements feel refined, leaving an unabashed and robust arcade experience. Controls are mapped to pushing up on the joystick to accelerate, pressing the spacebar to boost with the fire button used to shoot. Holding the fire button will change the aiming reticule allowing you to unleash a finite supply of rockets. The car handles well, meaning you can take corners at breakneck speed, fly over hills, 
and weave in and out of traffic like OJ Simpson has scored in a solitary black glove. Shooting is also solid, with the only slight frustration being when you're bumper to bumper with a standard sized enemy, resulting in you being unable to land a shot as the reticle aims over the car. Falling back slightly to line up the sights is the only solution. The game initially feels quite easy but later levels might have you hitting a wall, quite literally. The road will often fork leaving you two options, a crash or progression. This might not take away a life, but does add to your damage meter. The binary choice ramps up in frequency quite vigorously in later levels and can prove annoying as you're forced to memorise left or right turns. One way to negate this is to keep an eye on traffic and follow them, with the game being a little forgiving if you choose to take a different path at the last minute. It certainly proves the challenge is not only do you have to contend with the enemies hitting or shooting you, but also a time limit and ever depleting fuel gauge. Tanks of which can be picked up on the road and missing a couple in the road can prove difficult to recover from, especially if you're lagging behind with using a boost to catch up killing your reserves even further. Boss vehicles are your standard fare of shooting and ramming, and despite some tough difficulty spikes, the core gameplay loop is addictive, pulling you back in until you reach the shocking ending. There's no doubt Turbocharge is one of the premier arcade racing shooters on the Commodore 64. Visual and audio prowess is backed up by simple but extremely well implemented mechanics that results in satisfying driving and gunplay. You might not be able to jump into a Lamborghini anytime soon, but taking a spin in Robin Levy and Chris Butler's slick machine means you're in for one hell of a ride.